Hi everybody, I just did some modding on my computer and I uh, wanted to show it off. So firstly I will show my hard drive light mod, which I did. I'll have to turn off the lights. Hopefully they'll be flashing. And as you can see, I put two green lights. There's the first one. And on this side, there's another one. Right there. So there's two green lights flashing instead of just one in the center. So that's my first mod. Okay. Now I'm going to go turn the, open up the blinds and turn some lights on. Okay. Now if you look, direct your attention over here. I have installed a switch right next, right next to the side of the case. I'll show you. It lights up. The problem with it though is it lit up, but it took away too many volts. So I couldn't run an LED light or a neon off of it. So I ended up running a fan. And it ran too slow. So here is my new fan spinner. <laughs> I added it to the top of the case, and it is just a decoration with stuck with some uh, aluminum foil. It looks really funny, and it spins as long as the computer's on. <laughs> okay, the next mod was on the open window. I have a fan, a normal fan that lights up, which you can see right here. And then uh, I put a purple light in it, which is a neon cathode, which was once bigger, but we took it out of the tube. We custom uh, made it, mounted it in the top of the case. Okay, now the next mod is that I did after the cathode was was that I uh, installed a sound activator. So we'll turn it on. It's at the back, it's a switch. You can adjust the sound and the voltage. And as you can see, it's not lit up now, but if I bang the computer, and make a noise, it will light up. And what I put is a blue, this is a 12 inch blue sub ring around the window and inside where you see the blue part. And then we put a red red cathode, which is custom, right through the center. We took out the tube and made it thin and really small. Right to the center, meaning it flashes only if the volume is louder than, like first the blue one is supposed to flash, then the red one. So what I'll do is I'll turn on a song so you can hear how it, kind of what it sounds like. Okay, you got the edge on. Okay, check it out. Okay, so now you've seen that, I better turn off the sound for a second. Yeah, so that's my main mod. And then the, also the front that lit up blue, we're going to take this light and make it flash like a hard drive, but that'll be another mod for later. And here's a better view of the switch that lights up, and the spinner, the back view. So also, and then the next thing I'm going to try modding is the inside where the, oh, actually I got a light scribe. That's another new addition I just got. And I'm running a... Uh, X1950 PCI Express ATI Radeon. Can't really see it with all the lights on, but it's right below the red, behind the red tube. And in there, I got a 500 gig SATA hard drive with another 250 gig as a backup. And then also this silver one's a 500 gig backup on the external. So that's my system. And then it's got four gigs or two gigs of RAM, DDR400. If I go to the CPU Z right here, as you see, I got it running. Plus is 218, so it, it's basically running at if you times it by two cores, 5300 megahertz instead of 4800 megahertz. So that's like a 5200 plus processor now. Okay, now my memory is DDR SD RAM 248 megs. It's running at 218 megahertz, which is DDR4, if you add it together, DDR433. 
so it's pretty good too. And three three timings are three 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 eight. And I did try two point five three three eight, but it was kind of unstable. Now there it is. It's an X blade case, optical drive. Okay, we open up the case or the, the front cover panel. Ooh, look at here. An LG DVD 52X burner. And it reads DVDs. Okay, below I painted them all custom black. They weren't even they were actually white and silver to begin with. The next drive is a classic. I got a floppy drive. I painted it black too. But I got another floppy drive. Check this out. It's a five and a quarter. Remember what five and a quarters look like? They take a floppy, floppy disk. It's about really big. <laughs> and I have the original paper cardboard protector that came with the floppy disk when it was manufactured. It was never used. It's such a classic piece of gaming and computing history. So I had to include it in my. I put it into my new case. I had to have it. <laughs> and here it is. It's got a and it's got a red light that lights up when it's active. It's pretty hot. We'll put it back in. And uh, it's a socket 939, the best you can buy. Socket 939, the fastest, I mean. It's 4800 plus dual core MSI motherboard. Here's the motherboard, which I'm using. It's a Neo 4 SLI. So it supports SLI. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of my uh, computer. And I will see you again later. I'll be playing some Xbox, probably. If you want to see me online. My gamer ID is CashWars2001. And uh, if you see this, I'll show you some games. Check out the selection. 34 games. I think I have 38 games. Alrighty, see you later.